um hello hi guys um sorry for delaying this video but um i hope it will find you on time because i know that tomorrow you are writing so um here i uh, have been requested uh, to do this velocity diagram um to calculate the um, the scale of uh, of of the uh, of the diagram so um this is the question that i have been asked they said um here we have a velocity compound um two stage impulse turbine or was designed for an axial discharge so we know what is axial discharge means and then uh the out uh, the inlet and the outlet angle of the uh, first row of the moving blade um are both at uh are both 25 degrees and then we also have the relative velocity this one the relative velocity are uh, at the outlet um at the outlet from the first stage is uh, 490 meters per second and then we also have uh the exit angle uh, of the fixed blade uh, so this is one is on the uh, second stage right and then uh these two and then we also have the friction lost here yeah, they said there is four percent uh loss of uh of uh velocity across all uh blades due to friction so now they said uh use the length of 40 millimeters so this 40 millimeters uh for an average um blade velocity so that means this uh 40 millimeters it will be our initial velocity so the average blade velocity is our initial velocity and then they said the length of 22 millimeters uh 22 millimeters for the velocity uh of the gas leaving the turbine so we know that uh this one it will be our final uh uh, velocity or the velocity it will be v um v2 right the the, the one uh, at the uh, at the end you will see that not so now let, 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 let us draw according to our our data here so uh we're going to start with uh, our uh velocity our uh, initial velocity which is 40 and then my ruler is in uh, centimeters uh, so therefore it's going to be 4 for 40 this is uh, 40 right and then uh, from 40 we're going to draw this is our initial velocity so our initial velocity it's uh, 40 millimeters okay and then uh, from then we're going to uh, measure our blade uh, velocity so sorry our angles so they said uh, both the uh, the outlet and the inlet are at uh, 25 degrees so uh, 25 degrees going to opposite here this is our blade uh, side uh, and then both is 25 then it's going to measure our 25 here and then also going to measure our 25 this side and then we're going to draw the straight line yeah, because we don't know the length we'll just draw a straight line like that and then also we're going to draw a straight line like this now okay so um i'm sorry for the, the video uh if uh the, the 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 video quality if it's uh bad then i don't have a choice uh because i am busy these days I thought I was done with my work, but uh, when I don't have a choice, so then uh, now let's go to uh, so this this uh, it's our um, it's our data uh, on the first row. Now let's go to the second row to uh, we're going to do the velocity uh, the initial velocity also is going to be forty. Yeah, this is our forty, and then. Um, and then they said uh, we should uh, use uh, this is our uh, exit angle right this is our exit angle of what of the fixed blade is 17 so uh, exit angle of the fixed blade it's uh, alpha here on number two we're going to measure 17 here therefore this uh, okay yes our 17 is 15 16 
17 here then we have a uh, straight line here showing our yeah this is our 17 uh let me write it here 17 degrees of the fixed plane and then remember they say this one is uh, designed for uh, a, a discharge uh, or an excel discharge and then an excel discharge is going to be a straight line from here which is going to have to be 90 degrees right so uh and then uh, they said also uh we have to use uh, a length of 22 uh, millimeters for the velocity of the gas leaving the tube and we know that this is the one that is exiting so we're going to measure our 22 this side so 22 is going to be 2.4 because my ruler is in centimeters this is 212 so this is 22 here right so now that you know this length then it's easy now for you to just draw this line right uh, sorry uh, it's not straight but uh, to draw yeah this line here okay then now uh, you automatically going to have the uh, exit uh, angle of the uh, of the blade here the exit angle of the blade and then um, because uh, we know that the friction our friction which is k is going to be uh, f uh, 100 minus uh, 4 uh, 4 percent uh, divided by uh, 100 right so the 4 is going to our k is going to be 0 0.96 right so if we have 0 0.96 here and then um, to get to this line uh, here we're going to measure our line here so we're going to measure this point to this one is going to be 45 so it's going to be 45 millimeters so this 45 millimeters we're going to you we will remember our our what you call our formula that one uh, said our relative velocity uh, the inlet is equal to uh, k multiplied by v uh, i right so then to get to this side now we're going to multiply with uh, this uh, millimeters this length because we don't have uh, the what you call the um, we don't have the scale right but now we do have the millimeters even here let's say write it here it was 22 millimeters our initial velocity it was uh, 40 millimeters right so then we're going to use our calculator i'm going to say 45 um, multiply by uh no we don't multiply because uh we were looking for this one so we're going to divide right so we're going to uh divide by 0 0.96 then you're going to get 46.8 so when you get 46.8 you're going to measure 46.8 here until it intercept with this line so um this is uh 40 45 and then it's 46 yeah so we're going to make sure that this 46 uh, intercept with this line because we don't have the angle here so uh, it's going to be 46 i think it's here right yeah so therefore now we do have this line right so we all now we have this uh, angle and we also have uh, our angle here right uh sorry this one is um this one is theta yeah right okay and then uh now that you have completed uh this diagram here let's redraw this one uh now that you re uh you have completed the second stage then we can move to uh, the first stage so on the first stage uh you remember that uh to get to this line uh to get to this one it was uh this line we said it was v um then uh if you don't remember the formula you can check our uh my videos there my previous videos so it's going to be this line uh multiplied by k right 
so this one so uh it's going to be um let's make it etm we're going to get um uh, it's 80 uh it's 84 right so this one it's uh 84 millimeters um, so to get this line uh, on top we're going to say it, uh, uh 84 uh divided by 0 0.9 uh, six so it's going to be 87.5 so we're going to measure 87.5 this sign so 87 this is 887 80, it's here 0.5 uh, 87 yeah somewhere here but make sure that this line intercept with our line the initial one that we drawn cm so this is our yeah this is our line and then um this let's write it here this is 87 um, point uh, point five right 87 point five millimeters and then uh, now we do have uh this line here we can just uh measure this uh total line here yeah, which is going to be 12 uh it's 11.9 right so because uh it's in centimeters that means this one is going to be 117 uh, millimeters right so there's 117 millimeters to get to this side we're going to divide it by um by our 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 coefficient of friction uh which is k with zero point Nine six, and then we get um hundred and twenty five uh sorry hundred and uh twenty one, so then we're going to measure our hundred and twenty one here. This is hundred uh twenty uh hundred and twenty one is going to be one two uh here it will be somewhere here. Yes. So then now you just complete uh, this sign. So now you are done with your velocity diagram, right? So when you are done with your velocity diagram, now it's time to for you to calculate your scale. So the, remember, okay, then uh, let's write here. Yeah, this one is 121, 121.9. Uh, millimeters right and then i uh, was going to measure this one also this one is 14 right so that means it's 140 so this is 140 uh, millimeters right so if it's 140 millimeters now let's go back to our question for us to be able to get the scale of the graph Let's say here we have a relative velocity at what at the outlet from the first stage, which is 100, uh, 490. So the relative velocity at what at the outlet, this means this is our relative velocity at what at the outlet of the first stage, which is cast to 410. Let me write it here, it's 490 meters per second. So for you to be able to get this uh, scale, now you know that 117 is equal to 117 millimeters is equal to 409. So to calculate your scale, now you're going to say 117 millimeters is equal to 490 uh, meters per second. Then let's divide both sides by 117 by 117. That means one millimeters now is going to be equal to um one millimeters is going to be 140 so 1490 divided by 117 yeah it's going to give us uh 4.8 uh, uh sorry it's 4.18 um, millimeters so now you can uh, use this one as our scale so if they say uh if the question continues to say calculate uh the velocity of what you are doing, then you take this number multiply by your scale you take this number multiply by your scale so therefore 
everything will be in millimeters uh, sorry in meters per second now so this is how you are going to calculate your scale so just keep in mind that every time that you are given a question that it doesn't have um, a scale or they have given you the initial velocity as a uh, in measurements or yeah in length action so therefore you have to calculate uh, from um, the bottom to uh, the top it's most of the cases is always from the bottom to the top i don't know maybe if you get a quite um, different question therefore you're going to start from the top to the bottom but um this is how you're going to calculate your scale so i hope uh this um this uh video find you well uh and uh it will get you prepared for tomorrow and i hope it will get you on time so uh don't forget to subscribe and uh smash a like uh and please forgive uh the video quality so um um i'm shooting with my cell phone here because i don't have a time uh, in the morning thank you